I guess I am uh, looking at like a channel, another channel uh, recommended by uh, Calico Guy, uh, animated uh, follower her uh, channel that down below. So this time I am looking at like a sort of a different channel, uh, Liam Tunes. Uh, okay. Here we go. Well, hello everybody. This is Liam Tunes, and today I'm going to be telling you guys about my school. Me personally, I don't really mind school, but my little brother Brody, on the other hand, he practically hates it. Well, this one time, he was having the worst day ever. He had broken his phone by dropping it in the lake when he was out camping with his friend Austin, and he had lost his favorite hoodie at the mall that we were shopping at, and he had failed a big test that he wasn't even there for because he was absent that day. And to add a little salty cherry on top, his backpack strap had finally ripped because it's been getting too old. I guess he just wasn't having it that morning and totally yeeted his phone across the room. It made a little hole, but let's get back to the subject on school. Me and my friend would just be talking and all of a sudden we would hear... I don't know why, but I guess our teacher just liked playing random music out of nowhere. And this one time my friend Asher was just waving to his friend on the other side. And he leaned a little too close and fell off. I mean, like, he was okay all afterward, uh, but I can make a little joke out of this. I mean, like, at least he saw his friend. And this is part one of the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Bye, see you later. <laughs> In the morning. <sighs> I feel like breaking Liam and Mario Kart today. Liam, wait, where's Liam? Ah, the good old Wii system. Yeah. First uh, gaming system I've ever used. Liam! Liam! Liam, uh-oh. I'm freaking working on Mario Kart, you scrub. Well, before we start with this animation, I just want to thank you guys for 32 subscribers. And I'm going to try making my animations longer and work harder on them. Wii. We may ask, no, the we. And some of you guys may be asking, wait, so you're just gonna tell us about you sitting on the Wii all day? And to that, I have to respond with, no. Another thing that you guys didn't know was that I have 12 siblings, and since there were so many of us and only one Wii console, we had to fight for our returns back. And if you didn't grow up with the Wii, how are you still alive? Well, either way, me and my twin brother's favorite game were Mario games, and we were just so amazed by them, because we thought that Baron would be Mario and I would always be Luigi, and we would just be playing a Mario game, and Baron would jump over the lava to get over the lava, and I would jump on top of him, which would make him go down into the lava, and he would get hurt and turn into a little baby form, and then I would proceed to pick him up when he was in baby form, and yeet him back into the lava where he came from. Hey, dude, what the heck? We're supposed to be working together. Nah, Chief, this is way better. And one time, Brody was just on the couch playing the game, and he thought that he had to go use the restroom, and he also thought it was a good idea to bring the remote with him, and boy, was he gonna get traumatized. Hey, so, I kinda dropped the remote. You understand me, right? You fool. He didn't go on the week for a really long time after that. And one time, my friend came over to play Mario Kart, and I wrecked him in that, and then he just started crying. Uh, yeah, we didn't play Mario Kart with him after that. Well, I'm just gonna get one thing straight before I end this animation. I'm way better at Smash Bros than you. <laughs> nice. Oh, uh, yeah, Mario Kart was one of my favorite games, too. <laughs> it still is. So, as you guys can see, I'm not posting in a very long time. But I also wanted to thank you guys for 170 subscribers. Either way, you guys probably want to see the video, so let's get into it. So, my dream trials. I'm going to be talking about my dream trials because I'm 12 and I act like a toddler. Even though people say that I sound older than what I really am. Either way, first off... 
the tree would be a redwood tree. And you guys might ask why. Well, that's because there's going to be a water slide. And so you can go up and down the trails depending on where you're going. I say this because there's going to be three stories to the treehouse. Liam, that doesn't sound logical at all. Shut up. I'm saying all this because this is a dream treehouse we're talking about. And if this were to be a real treehouse, I wouldn't afford it. Well, I do make a good cup of microwavable mac and cheese, so cooking with Liam Tooth, let's go! You may ask what this has to do with the video. So the first story would have the basics. TV, computer, Nintendo Switch, game posters, and rolling chairs. Not beanbags. Beanbags for I'm gonna throw this at you. Shh, bet you won't. <laughs> and also, there's gonna be blinds blocking out all light. Just because I don't really like light. And so on the second story, it would be dedicated to a room of VR. And there would be about 10 headsets so everybody can play VR Minecraft. Nice. Uh, hey, are you raiding my house? Maybe. Oh, well, have a good day. Hot nerd. Holy sh... What a nerd. And on the third story of the treehouse is a laser tag arena. And because it's a dream treehouse, I'm gonna create my own game. Liam, that sounds like a dumb idea. Austin, get out of my house. And so the game will be like this. There will be five people on each team, and one person on that team will be a medic. When a player gets knocked, the medic has to revive them by pointing their gun at the player's chest plate. Another thing that the medics will have is a button on their gun, which makes the enemy's guns make a loud noise so they can detect where they are. And the game will go a little bit like this. Interesting. <laughs> I think we're in the good. Rich! Haha, <laughs> gotcha. Rish! And the last team standing wins. That sounds pretty fun. Can I play? Pew. Oh, you wanna go, kid? Oh, heck yeah, kid, let's go! And so the last feature to the treehouse is an elevator. The reason for this is you may not want to get wet by going up and down the water slide. And so, boom, easy access. And thinking about it now, my treehouse would look pretty weird. Hey guys, this is the end card. Uh, hope you enjoyed the animation. And I just want to give two shout outs. One to my twin yep. brother Baron. Baron right there. Because he only animates some of this video and it was only possible because he only would like the little cartoon parts, the six figure parts and stuff. And I also wanted to give a shout out to my friend Austin because he voiced in this. Uh, go subscribe to his channel, it's the Fatal Pop Gaming, and go subscribe to Baron Suits. And if I do sound different now, it's because this was recorded about one or two months ago. But I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and expect me to post way more often because I'm back and it, there will be much better quality next animation because I used a very small... <laughs> Slumber parties. They're freaking great, I know. And being the mad lad that I am, I've been to many slumber parties. Yes, I know, I'm very popular. I, I think. And if you've never been to a radical slumber party, you're probably the person who pours milk before their cereal. Well, then you're a dweeb. Either way, I'll be your guide to have a perfect slumber party. Number one, friends. Yeah, I got those. Number two. Snacks. And number three, pranks. And if you don't know any pranks, here, let me show you through the classics. Hand in a bowl of water, shaving cream, makeup on kids' face. Man, kids are mean. But all jokes aside, slumber parties can make great friendships and bonds. Just kidding! Everybody already knows that we're gonna be pulling all-nighters and pranks. But I've had my fair share of issues at slumber parties. One time, I slept over at my friend Austin house, and we're pretty radical buds. But when it came to sleeping, we had some problems. Alright, I'm ahead of bed. Alright, I'm gonna go to bed too. Hey, can you turn off the TV? No, sorry, I can't go to sleep without it on. See, the thing is, I can't go to sleep with the lights on, so I have to go to sleep with the lights off. And to me, this is a big no-no. Hey, where are you going? I'm going to Halen's house where the TV's are off at night! Hey, Helen, you got any Oreos? I'm pretty hungry. No, but we got cookies.
Nice and cookies. <sighs> okay, so one time I went to my friend Jaden's house and we were boxing and he was teaching me a move and it was basically where you swept somebody's feet. And so, let me mention that we were outside in his front yard and it was nighttime. So, I tried it on him and this is kind of how it went. I barely go to sleepovers, mostly because I move states, but sleepovers are still amazing, and I suggest having one. After quarantine, you know. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. It took me a little while to, like, make it, but it's finally out. Okay, you can throw the ball now. Are you sure, man? Yeah, man, I'm positive about this idea. Uh. Hello, everybody. This is Liam Toons. Today, I'm going to be telling you guys about my injuries. Now, let me just say that if you never had an injury or anything like that, you must have found a four-year club or something. Because injuries happen when you're trying to play a game with your sibling or maybe your best friend or something. Well, either way, I'm going to be telling you guys about my injuries because I have a couple good ones. Now, the first story starts off with me stubbing my big toe on some metal. Oh. Now, before if any of you guys start to ask, I'm going to do the minor injuries to the really bad injuries. Now, well, either way, it starts off with me, Baron, and our best friend. And we were playing a little bit of a floor is lava, and I was jumping onto my friend's bed because the floor is lava. So, when I jumped on, I hit my big toe on metal. Now, let me just say, that freaking hurt. And it was so bad that I couldn't walk for at least three weeks. Well, either way, another time we found a big tree and decided that we wanted to make a tree house. So, when we were getting all the equipment and stuff, I was the one kneeling in the floorboards and things. Well, either way, I was like, hmm, I should hit the nail on my thumb. <laughs> then I hit my freaking thumb. <laughs> Well, either way, we didn't use the equipment after oh, that. God. Now, this next story is going to be for my friend Tyler. And now, the second story starts off with my friend Tyler being on the baseball team. And so, when he caught the ball, he had caught it wrong, so he sat down because he saw that his finger hurt. And when he was examining his hands, um, now, quick reminder, a hand, and then a hand with a broken finger. And I guess he thought it was okay to play with the broken finger. So he kept playing, and when he slid into the base to um, go home, he, the kids had stepped on his finger. And let me just mention that these kids were cleats. So, a broken finger and cleats do not go together. Now, this third story is also for my friend Tyler again. Now, it starts off with my friend Tyler being about five years old and he wanted to go bike riding. And when he was going bike riding, he was going way too fast for his bike could go. And he had flown off and tried breaking his fall with his left arm. And when he got up, he noticed that his left arm was broken. No, either way, he doesn't really ride bikes anymore. Now, this fourth story is going to be by me, and it starts off with me and my twin brother's old bunk bed. Let me just mention, it was a metal bunk bed. So, when I was about seven or eight, just chilling up on my bed, we were just chilling up on there and stuff, just talking. And then says, hey, dude, do you want to do some parkour? And me being a little seven-year-old I was, I was like, oh, heck yeah, man. And so, he went down carefully because he didn't want to fall, and he made it safely onto his bed. But me, being the little seven-year-old I was, I wanted to do parkour. So I went down really fast with only one hand on the thing. And I had lost my grip, and I had shattered my teeth everywhere. There was a little blood and stuff. But either way, I looked in the mirror, and I knew how to go to the doctors. But when I was there, the guy had the nerve to actually tell a seven-year-old to say, Oh, dude, you can suck it up, right? Like, what is a seven-year-old supposed to think at that age? Oh, I'm sorry, sir. I didn't know what you meant to suck up, my blood or my teeth. Well, either way, this is the end card, guys. Just thank you for being subscribed and stuff. And thank you for my friend Tyler for letting me use his voice and stuff. And, like, because it was his. And also, shout out to the Fatal Five. This is one of the members. Hey, guys. Yeah, well, either way, I'm just going to really thank you guys for supporting this channel. This chan this video didn't really come out that much because it kept deleting and this is one of my longest videos that I'm done. I'm just happy that you guys are here to watch my content. Just thank you guys a lot. And I'm still better at Smash Bros than you, Nick. Please. Mm. Huh. Nice, uh I will uh, probably uh rate uh, this uh, channel uh
8 out of uh, 10. It was uh, pretty, uh, pretty good uh, for a first start. Oh wow, well, you're already at uh, 353 of subscribers. I think he's the one, uh, one of the animators that uh, had the highest number of subscribers that uh, I've one I, uh, seen. Uh, unless the, the ones that are higher than that. Not that I've checked, uh, but yeah. Yeah. Well, love the content. Animation style is kind of yeah interesting yeah. And I'll be glad to subscribe so like and subscribe and hit the bell if you want if you wanna you know if you don't want to miss a video uh Uh, apparently there's another channel that yeah, you can also check out But that's not my biz <laughs> you can do that on your own time See you guys uh, next time uh, when uh, I review another channel. Uh, and now the next one will most likely be uh, John and Becca's uh, novel. Uh, sorry, I, I've been uh, bumping it back and back and back. Because uh, again, I've got to check the, the new channels out. But, but they're also in the section uh, on uh, St. Kim Official. So subscribe to these channels, uh, check it out, I'll, I'll see you guys again soon.